Hey everyone, you're with Tesla Tom and thanks so much for joining me today on my YouTube channel where I discuss Tesla, electric vehicles and renewable energy. If this is your first time to my channel, hello and welcome. Take a moment to hit that red subscribe button, that way you stay informed of any new content and it also helps my channel to grow as well. Today we are going to look at software update 2020.48.12.1 in our Tesla Model 3 Performance Stealth 2019 version here in Sydney, Australia. We're going to do that and much more right after this. Okay, everyone, today is the 22nd of December 2020 on a Tuesday here on the northern beaches of Sydney. Yes, here we are at ground zero of the Sydney outbreak of coronavirus, unfortunately. Uh, I'm going to go out for a drive after I go through the release notes and in accordance with New South Wales government restrictions, I'm going to go out and get some lunch from the McDonald's drive through which is probably the most COVID safe thing I can do to get some food. And uh, before we do that, of course, we're going to go through the release notes uh, for this update. And before I get into it, I just want to thank everyone who has used my referral code this year to buy a Tesla, especially those who've recently taken delivery of your Tesla Model 3 2021 refresh. Hope you're enjoying your new car. And by the way, if you've taken delivery recently or you're about to, I'd really appreciate it if you could send me some photos, uh, some videos and uh, your experience of the delivery day itself. I'm going to compile a um, delivery day experience video for 2021 very soon so I'd appreciate all your input if you're able to give me some uh, media and of course anonymity is there on request all right without further ado let's have a look at the release notes for 2020.48.12.1 not too many things new in terms of features of course uh, I've gone through all these already in my previous video for the previous update text messaging improvements tracks version 0.2 and sentry mode improvements and as usual this update has got the usual minor improvements and bug fixes and before we go for a drive let's have a look at the autopilot settings for this car we've got an auto steer navigate on autopilot traffic light and stop sign control green light chime and uh, full self-driving visualization preview and of course summon some of these features are of course only available with the fsd package uh, you do get auto steer um, with just the basic autopilot uh, without the FSD package as well. And of course, I've got to mention too that those of you with the new 2021 Model 3, you get a slight range improvement as well with this update. That I find amazing that you get increased range with a software update. Truly amazing. But of course, not with our 2019 Model 3. But to be honest with you, I don't really get range anxiety with this car. There's already plenty of range. I'm certainly happy with my day to day driving. And the supercharger network is certainly improving as well as the DC charging network in New South Wales and also improving in other states as well in Australia. Okay, so without further ado, let's go for a drive to get some lunch from the McDonald's drive through here on the northern beaches of Sydney. Enjoy! Okay everyone, here we are on the northern beaches of Sydney, which is where I live. Uh, we're just in uh, French's Forest, which is on the western uh, edge of uh, the northern beaches. We're not technically on the beaches Well, I mean we're not like sitting on the beach, but we are in the local government area So we're all counted as uh, local uh, northern beaches uh, residents um, You know for restrictions uh, Anyway, so let's engage autopilot Just a double tap on the stalk there And uh, I might actually go up uh, on the surface road here today it's the auto lane change now left lane and uh, we might go on the surface there is an underpass there on the right uh, which I'll take on the way back home I'll show you that but just for now we'll come up on the top surface here on the surface road and uh, yeah it is quiet you know very quiet today obviously um, it's Tuesday it's a work day technically uh, but with restrictions it's it's very quiet um, you'd expect more traffic uh, this time of year 22nd of December so hopefully we can get the cases under control and uh, get back to normality after after the lockdown period all right so um, I learned a new trick from a viewer the other day so if I um, you know if I say whatever for whatever reason I want to change the speed limit down like that 
I can actually go back to uh, 70 by just putting a long press on the indicator stalk, on the right indicator stalk, I should say, on the right stalk, and that brings me back to the, um, the posted speed sign, back to 70. So once again, a long, a long press um, on the right stalk, and that'll get you back to the um, speed limit right there. It doesn't have to be all the way down, it can be that half tap, but it's gotta be a long, long press. And there's the Northern Beaches Hospital there on my left. Um, so I've got to uh, tap the accelerator to get going because I was the first car even though it's uh, go on green. Not if you're the first car, of course. Uh, once again, just a short drive, of course, uh, with restrictions in place. I don't want to go too far from home. And um, so if I'm the second car here, I should be, well, third car, I should be able to just roll on uh, with the go on green function as I am right now with no... Uh, no, uh, what's the word, input for myself, might just go on the left lane here, the McDonald's drive through is on my left, nice lane change there, I've got to say that's still my favourite function so far for this non-FSD beta version of the Model 3, that auto lane change is very handy, um, it's good on the highway when you're on a road trip and you want to take over slower cars or trucks, instead of having disengage, auto steer, just that, uh, you know, just the indicator stalk will get you there, it'll, um, it'll change lanes for you. What number follow am I on? Number one, okay, that's fine for city driving. So you'd hope that all the cars on the road right now here on all the beaches have a reason to be on the road. Um, it's only four or five reasons to be on the road currently with our lockdown, but um, yeah. All right, so I'm just coming up very close now to the drive-through on my left. So I'm going to do one more lane change when it is safe to do so. I'll let this little red car next to me go past me first. Then once he's passed, indicate the stalk on, and in I go. So unfortunately, this is not the FSD beta update that I was hoping for. Neither is it the hol holiday features update either. So. Hopefully the next one, um, this is version 48, so week 48 of 52, so this must have just come out, or must have been worked on uh, earlier this, this month in December. Uh, I've got two more months, two more weeks left here in December, so, two more weeks, no, sorry, one more, one and a half weeks left in December, thereabouts, so hopefully, uh, hopefully in the next week or so we'll get the holiday features that uh, Elon Musk has promised. And it uh, looks so far so good, I um, looks like it's working pretty well on just basic autopilot. And uh, I'm about to turn off here on my left to get to the drive through to get some food. And then what I'll do is once I get the food, I will um, do a drive back on the other side, uh, back home. Yeah, it is quiet, but um, yeah, not as quiet as I thought, there's still a lot of cars on the road. I guess people still need to do things, do a bit of shopping still for food, go to medical appointments, uh, what else, tradies off to work, other people going to work, those kind of things. All right, there, there's my uh, turn off now, so I might just take autopilot off, back onto normal driving here. There we are, and pulling into the drive through famous golden arches on my right here. Alright guys, I'll uh, get my food and then I will come back to you very shortly. See you soon. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you. Alright, got my order. Check everything's in there. Perfect. These guys do a good job here at Beacon Hill McDonald's. Shout out to you guys. Alright, here we go. Back home. I'll just take my mask off since we're in the car. Pretty cope safe in the car, would have thought. All right. Yeah, pretty quiet in there with the new restrictions, of course. Back to the one person per four square meter rule. Car park's pretty empty. Okay, let's turn right here. The exit. And, uh, you know, I do like the McDonald's app, I've got to say. It makes it easy to order. No pressure at the drive through Just uh, order beforehand, when you get there, just click pick up or drive through and then it's very easy. No mucking about. All right, turning right. 
then right again onto Warringah Road. Oh, we've got a set of greens today. How good is that? And of course, um, oh, I just missed the green. Um, but I should say that um, autopilot currently in Australia, which is non-FSD beta, um, does not allow you to uh, turn, of course. So you can't turn just yet with autopilot. You've got to actually manually turn. And then when you get onto a straight, then you can, um, you know, start autopilot. All right, we are green. Let's go. Okay, so now onto a straight. Like I said, we can engage autopilot now. Once that grey symbol comes up, boom, we're good to go. And um, you know, you can for those of you um, watching this for the first, or watching autopilot for the first time, you can uh, increase the speed uh, with the right scrolly wheel like that. Um, you can do it slowly. Just by one or you can just go flick down quickly and then go down or up by five as well and of course that long tap can bring you back to the posted speed limit uh, you don't have to touch the screen that can be potentially dangerous eyes should be on the road of course and hands on the wheel as per the rule here in new south wales and certainly recommended by tesla as well that uh, autopilot is always in beta i do like the fact that um you know, the, the autopilot and auto steer and traffic awareness control does hug the speed limit pretty well, if you've got it on the right speed li limit, of course. Um, you know, you feel like you're on rails when it works well. It keeps the lane pretty, pretty good, straight and true, most times. Uh, I found in the past when I do swerve left or, you know, gently turn left, um, <clears throat> it does tend to hug the right side of the lane, although having just set that, I'm just doing a gentle curve now and it's doing pretty well. Um, making a liar out of me, but uh, that's good. That's good. I, I wanted to do that. I wanted to make it. I wanted to just keep to the lane, straight and true, and right in the center of the lane. And you'll see again when I'm the second car and subsequent car. Um, when the light turns green, um, the car will just roll forward. It should roll forward anyway. Wouldn't mind if it went a bit quicker. Like that time, it didn't respond very well. In fact, I had to tap the accelerator a little bit. It'd be nice if the car actually just left quicker. And that really, I think that was a little bug there. I should have followed the, um, the car ahead of me, but it, it didn't. It still required my intervention. So uh, not so good there. But um, what we'll do right now is actually go in the underpass um, here in Purchase Forest, underneath the hospital, well, underneath the road that goes to the hospital and the Waco Parkway. Um, yeah, I do like this underpass, it shaves a lot of time from, um, from my journey across French's Forest. Good road this, got 70. You know, that's what autopilot's good for, I think, currently, uh, with that FSD beta. If you're thinking of heading on a road trip with your new uh, Model 3, I think, you know, auto steer is pretty good, like as good as it possibly can be with that FSD beta. Um, navigate on autopilot, I'm still not a huge fan and um, certainly having driven NOA on uh, longer road trips, I'm just going to lane change now before I keep going. Um, NOA has its flaws, um, you know, the decision making hit and miss sometimes. Um, when it's good it works really well, but sometimes it's just, I don't know. I mean, you just go through my other videos, you'll see, especially that Canberra road trip, um, where I discuss, uh, make some interesting decisions. And other YouTubers around uh, Australia as well. Um, hasn't always been perfect, but um, certainly auto steer is pretty good, and I generally use that uh, if I'm going on a longer drive. Okay guys, well I'm about to head home, so... Um, Sorry about the short drive, but um, it is what it is with the lockdown here in the Northern Beaches. I can't do any further testing. I'm just doing what I can within the restrictions while getting lunch for the family. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, guys, please give it a thumbs up. Really appreciate that. And of course, subscribe if you haven't done so already yet. And uh, tell me if you've noticed any new features uh, in this update, 2020.48.12.1, either in uh, an older Model 3 like mine or uh, the newer refreshed 2021 Model 3. Take care guys, stay safe. Let's hope the numbers go down in New South Wales. We can all have a good summer. Until next video, stay safe, take care of yourselves, and as always, happy charging.